Oh, what's up, everybody? It's Brian, man, Sean, and I got a snippet once again from a very special guest, Lady J. You may know her as Lady J. Bookums from her popular Instagram page at Lady J. Bookums. I usually don't do two snippets before I drop an interview with people, but she has so much value, and I think the women will get a lot of value out of this particular topic. It's networking as a woman within the music industry. I did one video about that before, but I promised that I would get a woman to actually discuss the subject because what better expert to speak on their own experiences. So let's hop right into this interview. First of all, I always tell people like people are going to treat you the way you treat yourself. Mm, okay. So, okay. you know, if you are a female and you step into the room, treating treating yourself a certain way and when i when i say that i mean you know the way that you look the way that you carry yourself the way that you're speaking to people um people will judge you off of that and determine how they want to treat you based off of those things mm -hmm. now this is not even just with with women i i tell artists in general you know i get a lot of artists that contact me i never respond to people who curse in their message like you don't even know me but you're cursing while you're emailing me or texting me that lets me know that you're not professional you know I, I curse on my personal time but you never see me curse on my videos and everything because I, I want you to have a certain standard for me so you're gonna treat me the way you see me treat myself so I think for women it's very important to treat yourself, walk through the door with a, with a certain aura, you know, not like bougie, like, you know, I'm bougie or whatever, but, but it doesn't matter what type of man you did. It doesn't matter if he is super hood, super professional, whatever. People will see your aura off that and they will treat you accordingly. Now, some, I mean, it's certain, certain circumstances where it is just is what it is, but I've been in this industry around nothing but men, way more men than female. And, you know, as a female, I don't even think it has nothing to do with you being an attractive female. I think, you know, you're just a female, so you're going to get all kinds of stuff coming your way, you know, but I think it's all about how you present it. I, I never, never have men disrespect me. Every time someone meets me, it's always just, yo, she is just too, she cool, you know, so it's like it just eliminates everything. I think it's about how you carry yourself, man, how you present yourself, how you talk to people, you know, your body language, how you touch people, you know, a lot of that comes into play. And I think with females, you have to be real careful of how you present yourself, you know, even down to what you're wearing. Okay. If you come in with something super short, even I'm going to look, you know, so <laughs> it's like, you have to, ex you got to expect certain things. So if, if you're talking about networking, you're going to a network event, you need to dress accordingly, act accordingly, speak accordingly, talk accordingly, have have things already ready, and people will look at you like, oh, okay, she about business. Mm. You know? And then you gotta just practice on how to curve people professionally. <laughs> you got an example of that? I would I would love right, to. Right, you know, so when I'm out and people say, you know, networking events or whatever, and people are like, mm. you know, well, can I get your number? I said, no, thank you. <laughs> so they don't know how to take it because you said no thank you like what some people just be like no dan and you know you gotta say it you know say it with a smile and i just say no thank you and he'd be looking at me like that just threw me off you know but i'm like let's follow each other on instagram that's the new phone number like if you hit people back with a joke mm. you know especially men because men feel you know you turn them down they kind of feel away but it, it's just like you gotta learn how to curve people in the right way you don't have to be angry because somebody is trying to approach you yeah. on some other stuff that's just life you know you just gotta learn how to curve people and the more you network the more you put yourself out there the more you will learn okay you just got to get out there start having certain things that you want to talk to people when i go to a networking event it's already certain questions i know i can ask everybody what do you do how can i follow you you know are you performing it's just general questions that are like openers so i think for artists when you go to a networking event you need to have a set of general questions or general topics that you can bring up with everybody that you meet you can always ask somebody what it is that they do and based off of what they say oh i'm an artist next question okay well do you sing or rap or both and then they'll say that okay well you got some music where can i find you you know it's like those opener questions that will take people's mind off of how you look 
you know, I want to talk to you, you know, it gets them back into the business frame of why we're here in the first place. Mm. Okay. Perfect. I love that answer, man. That was, um, like, what I think is interesting about what you said is, one, just kind of honing in on the fact that when you're networking, you're marketing yourself out to people, right? So really, you're branding yourself. And that's the same thing we basically tell artists. So a brand is essentially you have to put out the expectations of how people perceive you, right? So right. that's the first piece. Like, you, you got to brand yourself, right? Treat, treat yourself how you want to be treated, I guess, you, as you exactly. say. And, then that's and I also it. recommend for people to speak to people first, especially females. Don't wait until someone approaches you. When you come into a networking event, just yeah. go up to people first. Because if you let a man approach you first, it's normally going to be about because of how you look or, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. But if you go up to someone first and you start that conversation, you say, hey, my name is such and such. You know, it's a networking event. So we all must be an artist or something like that, you know. Right. So you start the conversation first have a business card in your hand, you know, and pass them a business card, like start it off first. So you control the conversation. Control the conversation. Yeah. Okay. So control the conversation on top of branding yourself, how you want to be perceived. And then also make sure you have a curve in the chamber, but right. A kind, a kind curve. <laughs> yeah. A kind curve. Let right. Them, give them some pillows to fall on. <laughs> right okay all right all right as always i hope you got a lot of value out of that the full interview will be dropping soon if you happen to be watching this video after the full interview has dropped then the link in the description below will become active and you will be able to watch the full interview if it doesn't work then you know the full interview has not dropped yet just stay tuned we have a lot of good content coming up on this channel one last thing i would love to hear from other women and their experiences maybe some other tips they have in terms of networking in general but specifically within the music industry of course that would be extremely helpful for all of those who are reading the comments other than that if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you like it might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe